Bears are some of the most beautiful and the most terrifying animals that walk the earth. Although they have their own habitat, humans can find themselves coming in contact with them if they're hiking or in the forest or anything like that where you could be in their natural environment. Although bear attacks are pretty rare, it's important to have something like bear spray on hand. And that's the topic of today's video. Bear spray is a non-lethal deterrent used for aggressive bears. Think about pepper spray for aggressive people. Very similar situation. This temporarily impairs a bear's sight, smell, airway, and this includes a throat, lungs, and mouth. This is bear spray right here. It's huge. It's like a can of Lysol. The main ingredient is oleoresin capsicum. This is a combination of some different capsaicin-like molecules. This includes things like capsaicin, uh, dihydrocapsaicin, and other spicy molecules, I guess, if you want to put it simply. What's interesting, I mentioned this in a video a while ago, camera which one, capsaicin is used in pain relief patches because of its properties. Just wanted to mention that. So bears are mammals, human are mammals. It does a similar thing. It irritates the membranes, the mucous membranes, the openings, like the eyes, the nose, the mouth. This can cause tears and eye irritation, temporary blindness, pain, burning, swelling of the larynx and the lungs. So I couldn't find the confirmation, but mammals, I know humans have this thing called TRPV1. This allows for us to sense the sensation of heat. Birds do not have this, which is why they're able to pick up spicy pepper seeds and distribute them throughout the environment. I'm assuming bears have this same structure. What's interesting is that this structure allows us to perceive heat and vanilla because capsaicin is a vanilloid. It's a part of a bigger family of molecules and one of those molecules is vanilla. So let's talk about general bear safety. I've never been in an area where I've been at risk of coming in contact with a bear. A lot of this information I got from the National Park Service website. So viewing bears, there are places where you can see bears in their natural habitat. Remember, you are a visitor. You are in their territory. So respect their personal space, just like you'd respect someone else's personal space. Keep a safe distance. It's suggested about 300 feet. A couple things not to do. Do not surprise a bear. Stay on the trails when you walk through them. Do not try to rescue, quote unquote, a bear cub. Something I've determined from watching Instagram and TikTok is that a lot of people don't use common sense. If you come across something like a bear cub or even a little baby deer, most likely you should assume that mom is nearby. Now I understand, let's zoom in here, look at this. These are some adorable animals. They're adorable, but if you mess with them, you could be mauled by a bear. It's not worth it. The big thing that's always known for a lot of people is that you gotta be aware of your surroundings and the type of food that you have because bears have good noses and they want what you have, especially if you have certain types of food and it's open, which is why they have those things you can tie to trees and stuff like that. So if you encounter a bear, you wanna identify yourself, wave your hand slowly, speak calmly and in a low pitch, stay calm, don't freak out, if you have small children, you gotta pick them up. Move sideways slowly with a suggestion. A couple things right here. Do not run. It will catch up to you and hurt you. You're not gonna outrun a bear. Do not climb trees, cause guess what? They climb trees much better than you climb trees. And again, do not mess with a bear and her, her cubs. Specifically, don't come between a bear and her cubs. This bear most likely wants nothing to do with you, but if you mess with her, babies it could be your last day on earth which is why it's important to have bear spray so tips for using bear spray i thought this was funny having a quick draw holster right like a quick draw holster for a gun you want to be able to pull it out and spray a cloud of spray between you and the bear aim slightly low to adjust with the wind spray when the bear is 30 to 60 feet away keep spraying until the bear changes direction spray it in its face if you have to because what you don't want is you don't want a gigantic grizzly bear charging you from a distance and you don't have bear spray. That's not gonna be fun. It makes me shiver just thinking about it. So you can't take bear spray on an airplane cause it's just, look at it, there's no way. Um, if it gets to over 140 degrees, it can explode. You don't want any pressurized cans exploding. 
use an EPA approved bear spray. Don't make your own stuff. It might not work out. And you can buy these things in a variety of different places. They're not hard to find, especially in the areas where bears are frequent and people hike and find themselves in nature with them. So let's go through the summary and review what we learned about bear spray. So the biggest takeaway from the first slide was that bear spray is made of the same stuff that pepper spray is made from, oleo resin capsicum. This can temporarily impair bear sight, smell, airway, causing eye irritation, temporary blindness, pain and burning. And this substance has a bunch of different capsaicin derivatives, spicy molecules, a part of this family. If you're viewing a bear, remember that you are a visitor in their home. Do not surprise them. Do not try to rescue a bear cub. If you do encounter a bear, identify yourself, wave your hands, stay calm, do not run, do not climb trees because they are better climbers than you. And as I mentioned before, don't mess or come between a bear and her cubs, no matter how adorable they are. You always wanna make sure you have bear spray on you. Spray it between you and the bear. Keep spraying until it changes directions. And hopefully, it doesn't keep attacking you. Because most likely this bear wasn't just out to get you. Attacks are rare, but they do happen and you need to be prepared. I hope you guys learned a lot from this video. Although I knew what was in bear spray, it was interesting to read up on bear safety and how to use it. If I ever find myself in an area with bears, I'm definitely gonna buy some. I don't foresee that in the near future, but you never know. So thank you so much for watching and listening. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Tell your friends, and I'll be back soon with another video.